Our right, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will meet Nigeria's President Bola Tinubu in a meeting of the largest democracy in the world and the largest in Africa. Nigeria will honor their Indian Prime Minister with the Grand Commander of the Order of Nje. Queen Elizabeth is the only foreign dignitary who has been awarded the honor in 1969. Now earlier, Prime Minister Modi received a warm welcome as he landed in Abuja, in Abuja on his first visit to Nigeria. This is the first visit by an Indian Prime Minister to the West African nation in 17 years. The Indian Prime Minister was welcomed by Nigerian officials and a cheering crowd from the country's 60,000 strong Indian community. He was welcomed by the Minister for Federal Capital Territory who presented the Prime Minister with the key to the city of Abuja. Ahead of his departure, Prime Minister Modi also said that it would be an opportunity to build upon strategic partnership that is based on shared belief in democracy and pluralism. Nigeria's President Bola Tinubu posted that the visit would expand the strategic partnership between both the countries. Namodi will talk with Tinubu at his official residence in Abuja. Nigeria is the first stop in Prime Minister Modi's five-day tour that also includes the G20 summit in Brazil and a visit to Guyana. The visit comes amid a revived push by both India and Nigeria for permanent representation on the United Nations Security Council. Nigeria's 220 million strong population is comfortably the largest in Africa, but in a diplomatic strength it is rivaled by South Africa. India is also a member of the nine strong BRICS group with South Africa. Nigeria is a BRICS partner country but has not been given full membership. The visit will also seek to enhance economic cooperation with a number of technical agreements to be signed. More than 200 Indian companies had invested about $27 billion in Nigerian manufacturing, becoming major employers. Nigeria is also a destination for Indian development funds with about $100 million in loans and training programs for local workers. Okay, our Beyond's correspondent, Luisa Olani, gave us more details over the phone. Listen in. Prime Minister Modi arrived Abuja Saturday night and was treated to a warm welcome by Nigerian officials, including the FCT Minister Nyesu Nguike and uh, the newly appointed Minister of State of Foreign Affairs, uh, Mrs. Bianca Ujuku. Now, the Indian community living in Nigeria turned up in large numbers, giving the Prime Minister a rousing welcome chanting joyous slogans at the Abuja airport. Now, this heartwarming gesture was acknowledged by the Prime Minister on his post on X. Now, the highly anticipated meeting, of course, is one with many firsts. The first time uh, Prime Minister Modi sets his foot in Abuja for his first bilateral visit to a country with shared economic interest. And as tweeted by President Tinubu uh, on his ex-handle, the bilateral discussions will seek to expand the strategic partnership between both countries and enhance cooperation in critical sectors, which of course uh, will include and not limited uh, to security and defense, cooperation, economic and trade partnerships, and more. In all, uh, the visit underscores the importance of India and Nigeria relations and is expected to result in initiatives fostering mutual prosperity and global cooperation. Um, Nigeria is the first stop in the Prime Minister's five-day visit to three nations, uh, after which, of course, he'll be heading to Brazil for the G20 summit. Uh, sure to bring you more details on other activities lined up for his visit. <music>